Welcome to Bad Hotel Coffee Chat. Uh, this is not a hotel and this is not bad coffee. This is actually my house. Uh, I flew home after the game last night and this is not bad coffee. This is actually organic uh, coffee made in an AeroPress. So it's actually quite delicious. Um, about that game last night uh, or yesterday. Uh, look, I, I think how you see this game depends on what kind of fan you are and looking at the comments the the two versions are you either think the Ticats did a remarkable job given all the things that they overcame this year the loss of Zach Kalaros and the injuries and the loss of Norwood and, and Sinkfield and long stretches without Fantuz and Gable and all the rest of it and yet overcame all that to get to within essentially you know, one or two plays of a third straight great cup appearance. And if you're inclined to see the coffee cup as half full, that's your interpretation. Great job given the circumstances. And if you are a coffee cup half empty person, then you look at that and go, how is it possible that in the most important game of the year, you make that many little mistakes leading up to the final minute and then make two humongous mistakes uh, in the dropped interception and then the long touchdown pass that, that cost you the game. And I, I think that those are both reasonable interpretations of, of what happened in the East Final. It's, it's fair to look at that game uh, both ways. Um, and, and maybe a combination of the two. But it's, it's really uh, it, it's, it's tough to get a handle on, on what exactly went wrong uh, in, in this season and in this game. Because I think it's... Uh, it, it boils down to two plays, but it's sort of bigger than that too. I don't know. I, I gotta, I got, I obviously haven't quite worked it through in my own mind yet. Right. I, I think I have to think about it some more as well and talk to some more people and just sort of to think about it because I think, you know, there, there were a lot of factors that sort of add up to, to one moment in time. So and, and look, things are going to be different next year. I don't expect the same kind of continuity this year, next year, that they had this year. They're, they have too many guys eligible for agency. Um, I think that after three years under Ken Austin with the staff, with the same sort of general setup, that you, you might see them have a, a look at what they're doing and how they're doing it and, and see where they can, can make some, some improvements. Um, now maybe they'll, they'll keep the band together for a fourth straight year and there's a lot to be said for continuity and you still have a lot of the key pieces in place in Simone Lawrence and obviously Zach Caleros and CJ Gable's under contract and um, you know Craig Butler's there but there are some big pieces that are that are you know they could potentially lose or have new guys coming in and all the rest of it so this is going to be a new new team I think going into 2016 and and that's, uh, you know, maybe, maybe that's a good thing. This this core group, this squad, has basically been together for the last two or three years. And uh, I think they've played some great football and made some great strides. But the reality is that they don't, they don't have a championship to show for those efforts. And if that's the only standard that you've set, and I think that that's what, what Kent Austin has said, then you have to, to, to basically look at how you can get to that last level and maybe that means making making some changes and I think it probably does so I'm going to the Grey Cup this year even though the Ticats are not uh, I've actually been every year um, with or without the Ticats uh, so credit to the spectator for that so there are lots of Ticat story angles obviously uh, given you know Henry Burris and Greg Ellingson and Chris Williams and there's some some ex-Ticats on Edmonton as well, and there's always some interesting storylines that appear at the Grey Cup that are relevant to both the league and the Ticats in particular. So, um, you know, we'll have lots of content on the Scratchy Post and Three Down Nations. So make sure you stick with us all week, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon.